Hey YouTubers, you're watching Afgirl TV. This is an iMovie for iPhone complete tutorial. We'll show you how you start a project all the way through to getting it on YouTube. Alright everybody, let's get started with our iMovie. When you tap into iMovie, this is the first screen you'll see. It says tap plus to start a new project. So let's do that. You get to choose from five themes here and each theme also comes with its own music. So I'm going to turn that on and I'm going to select travel. And then this is the next screen you'll see. Now you can either tap here to insert your media or you can tap this button here and it'll switch to a camera. But I have a video already ready for you guys to see. So I'm going to tap this button right here to pull it from my camera roll. And as you can see, you have your videos here. You have your photos in the middle from your roll. And you can also select some music. Now, I am going to choose the video of my friend counting from 1 to 10. And you can see she shows up on the timeline down here. And the red cursor in the middle shows you what part of the video is showing up on the work screen. So, if we scroll here really quick, quickly, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and there she is, smiling at the end. Now, you can expand the time scale here by doing this or you can shorten it as well by squeezing your fingers together like this well, that's as small as it gets so I'm going to scale her expand her out a little bit so it's easy to work with the iMovie here is a little different from the desktop version in that you can't actually split a video and insert media in between you can only trim it from the start or the end alright so I'm going to show you how you trim the video I'm going to have my friend count only from one to five. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap the time scale once and I'm going to tap this yellow tab here and I'm going to try to trim her cleanly until she's holding up five. So now she's counting from one to five. Now I'm going to insert another video in there this time of myself counting from one to ten pretty much the same thing. There I am, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. But since Asuka, my friend, counted from 1 to 5, I'm going to trim myself so I'm counting from 6 to 10. So again, I tap it once, drag my tab, and I'm trimming the video. This time you can actually take a look at the work screen to see where you're trimming to. So there's my 6. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and trim out 10 as well. Let's see if that's close enough. A little more. Alright, and for number 10, I'm going to tap here to go back into my media. And instead of a video, I'm going to choose a photo this time from my camera roll of us holding number 10 together. This is a picture. And there we are on the time scale. Now, if you tap it once, you can see how long the picture will last for. Now, I'm going to drag this out a little bit so it lasts for 2.5 seconds. And there we go. And if you look here, you have your start and your end buttons, which lets you decide where you want the picture to start from. So I want it to start from this position here, number 10. And I'll just have it zoom all the way out so you can see the both of us. And then I'm going to tap done. Let's talk about a few other things before we play our video. This wheel here, if you tap it, it gives you the theme selections. So this is what we decided before. We chose the travel theme and that goes along with its own music. So we've finished that. And if you keep on scrolling, you'll see this little box here. Now if you double tap that, you get your transition settings. Now I'm going to choose a cross dissolve transition that lasts for 1.5 seconds for my first transition. For my second transition, I'm going to choose the theme transition, which will be travel, and have that last for another 1.5 seconds. 
All right, I would like to show you the last transition, so I'm going to go back here and pull a video out. There we go, and I'm going to place it there. Let's see how long it lasts for. It lasts for only 0.8 seconds. I think that's good enough. And I'm going to show you the final transition, which is no transition. So now we're going to go back and add some text. So in order to do that, I'm going to double tap on my time scale. And I'm going to choose title style. All right, so I can choose from none, opening, middle, and ending. Since this is the first part of my video, I'm going to choose opening. And this is what it's going to look like. So in order to insert text, I just tap there and I write whatever I want. All right. And then for the middle one, which is of me, I'm going to tap on title style again, and I'm going to choose middle, and put some text in there. And then for the end, uh, you can't actually put any text in the photo, so even if I double tap that, as you can see, nothing shows up. But since this last one is a video, I'm going to double tap it again and choose an ending and write some text in there. All right, you can type as much text as you want. The text just gets smaller and smaller and smaller. All right, one other thing. You can choose the location, otherwise it just shows up automatically on where you took the video. So if you want to change locations for some reason, you can tap other and type it in yourself, but I'm just going to leave that because there's no reason to do that. And as you can see for the travel theme, it pins you right on the map of where you're located. And another thing, if you double tap it, you get to choose whether or not you want the audio from the video on there. So I'm going to leave that on. All right, let's take a look at our video then. Just one last thing before I show you how you upload it to YouTube. If you insert something that you don't want, so I'm going to take a random picture of my friend's finger in there. And now I don't want this picture in my movie. So all you have to do is tap on it, hold it down, and then drag it off your timeline. And then poof, it goes. Let me show you how to get your movie on YouTube. So we want to go back to our project screen and we want to tap on this button down at the left. I'm going to choose high definition 720p. Tap that, it'll export it to your camera roll. All right, the movie was exported to your camera roll. So let's take a look at our camera roll. And Looks like our video is right here. I'm going to play it really quickly to see if it works, and it does. All right, so let's upload this to YouTube. Send to YouTube. It'll compress your video for you. And you'll sign into your YouTube account. Choose a title, put a description there, tags, category, and then finally publish. And there you have it. Your very own iMovie, guys. But an important thing to remember here, you guys, is that you can't upload HD directly through your iPhone onto YouTube. If you want your videos in HD, you got to transfer them onto your computer first and then upload them onto YouTube, which is a bit of a mess around if you ask me. But anyways, if you like this tutorial, let us know by subscribing to us or rating us. And if you have any apps that you would like us to review, let us know through YouTube. All right, thanks for watching Afterglow TV, everybody. See you soon.